welcome to the MBS Show Reviews and Discussion Podcast. I am your host, Norman Sanzo, and joining me today is Silver Quill. Let's all go to the wonder world of dumpster diving. <laughs> Wait, well, uh, uh, dumpster diving? Uh, are, are we behind the GameStop? I... Uh, yeah, you never know. You'd be amazed at what you can find behind stores. Oh man, prop! I, I heard a lot of good things. Not not all of them good, but good things. Also joining me today is Jacob. Hello, everyone. I hope you're doing fine today, because woo, this has been a long time coming. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Also, this episode, I I, I never thought we'd be going to the dumps. Ha <laughs> ha. Oh boy, so anyway, in today's episode review, we are going to review, uh, give me a second to open the thing, uh, Tell Your Tale Season 1, Episode 13, Dumpster Diving. In this episode, Easy is hard at work trying to rebuild something for Sunny. Uh, she is looking for something all around the the lighthouse and all around town and suddenly discovers the joy of dumpster diving all right so before we head into this episode first impressions are in order and silver what do you think man well this is one of the better uh tell your tale episodes i mean it has a fun song it has a lot of great visuals uh it not a message I'd really convey to the kids. There's not a wonder of uh, a wonderful swimmy world of garbage. In fact, if you go dumpster diving, I guarantee you will um, find stuff that will haunt your dreams. So true. Or you get a nasty stab. <laughs> this is also true. <laughs> that too. So, yeah, don't. don't just let Izzy make a big deal of it. Don't actually put any investment in it, kids. Look away. Look away. Uh, true, true. True, true. Oh, God. Uh, anyway, Jacob, what about you? Well, uh, the episode was uh, fine. And the song was catchy, but as Silver said... Uh, there's a uh, few things that one shouldn't do, and the way that is being conveyed, well, I'm gonna mention it later when we get to that. Alright. As for me, this episode was entertaining. The song was... Huh, the, the, the song was okay. Like, it didn't really grab me like how G4 did, but it was okay. But the part where we start into the dive... That 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 really got me like, wait, what? Mm, uh, no, no, yeah, no, no, no. So yeah, um, that's um, my first impressions. Anyway, if you guys at home have not watched this episode yet, for sure and go do so. Welcome back. So um, I think I've been out of practice for a bit, so I'm gonna go for the. Uh, traditional way of reviewing this one so yeah join me so we start off the episode with the guys and gals watching tv and it's some kind of diving event and funny enough uh recently we got the olympics uh, that was pretty close to this one not really but still um, timing and whatnot and yay uh the representative for Cl not cloud steel zephyr heights um, did a really big splash. If I'm not mistaken, diving is a sport where you're supposed to do the most little splash ever, right? Yeah, you want to have as little splash as possible. Just slip under the waves. But not water. <laughs> uh, but, uh. No. Well, maybe they were... Maybe they were just demonstrating how not Probably. to do it. But I, I did remember them saying a line that, oh, because um, they're a Pegasus, that's why they can get the big splash. Foreshadowing to something going on later on? Or am I wrong? Probably. Mm, maybe. 
very likely. Mm-hmm. Probably, probably, probably. Foreshadowing. <laughs> uh, anywho, um, so we see Easy here um, trying to get something, trying trying to find rings. And it's a good thing that Sonic is not around because she would have beaten the crap out of Sonic just to get some rings. And... I mean, he, she have to beat him only once. Yeah, but like, knowing Izzy, it's like, oh, you got more rings? You, you have some rings for this, right? Beat up, beat up, beat up. <laughs> but, um... <laughs> She'll never catch me because she's too slow. Oh, you, you see that, but man, she, she has moves. But... Um, the the reason why she's trying to find rings is she's trying to um, fix Sunny's uh, lantern that her father gave her for her birthday or just just gave her in general. So she's trying to fix. Well, hold on. Well, hold on. It's never even explained what this is prior to this. It's, actually, it's not even explained this episode. Yeah, because it's it a surprise kind of thing. Because. Um, from what okay f- we we know what's going on and I think she did mention something about trying to find the perfect ring to fix Sunny's thing or am I just imagining things she did somehow say that right guys well hang on uh, let's look at the lyrics or transcript is there a transcript are there any transcripts? All for the love of trash. <laughs> that, that's the lyrics. Um, man. Coming in, the trash is lovely. Looking for a ring for Sunny. Ah. Uh, okay. So. Oh, yeah. And the, at the end of the, of the episode, she says Sunny's going to love mm. it. That's about the only thing that we get from this. So you, you can just consider it she's fixing something for Sunny or she's just gonna make a gift for Sunny so yeah that, uh, that you can you can connect the dots so anyway um, she, she, she tries to find stuff in the house but uh, somehow every um, hip was not having any of it because her shower was broken and now Izzy's uh, skedaddle out of there. So yeah, yeah, yeah. This, 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 this episode, the start of this episode is not making easy, uh, looking out too good. <laughs> and and it's not gonna get better oh, with posing. Yeah. So, um, for po- po- posy, poor posy. But before posy, right? Um. Easy just went to town on a scooter, um, trying to steal toys from kids. Um, what else? Uh, almost stole a key. Make- and the way she looked at. Oh yeah, and make it and making comments about how small uh, it is. <laughs> <a> random. <laughs> yeah. Oh my. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> That's that's a that's a grown up joke over there, kids. You'll get it when you're older. <laughs> I I appreciate that. I appreciate that joke. It's so subtle that it doesn't really matter. But at the same time, too, if you're an adult, you'll get it. <laughs> oh, no, there's no thing. There's no doing silver. It's too small. <laughs> <laughs> boy. <laughs> oh boy, but anywho, um she sees donuts and decides to go up on a what you would call this um the salon to steal <laughs> why would she even want to steal the signboard? There's no rings on it. It's around it. Oh my god. Alright, alright. Yeah, maybe I guess that makes sense. Yeah. Mm, cartoon logic. So um, she sees Posey, and Posey has her earrings. It's a big giant loop, and she chased Posey down just to have it. And here's the thing: she's chasing her down on her scooter, and I would run away too if I see an insane pony riding on a scooter trying to um hit me down. Damn, that's scary. Pl- 
Plus, uh, Posey rightly says you know, the ring, the earring, is hers. <laughs> that is also true. That is also true. This, this reminds me of that one bad episode with Pinky. You you know the one, right? Uh, the one episode with Pinky? I'm pretty this sure there was the more than one. bad one with Pinky. Yeah, I can Uh Oh, uh... Yeah, Philly that Vanilli? One. Oh, yeah. Man. Because, like, th- this feels like to... Not uh, overtly to that level, but it's close to it. But for, all for the wrong reasons. <laughs> but in, in all honesty... Sorry? Well, it's the... Well, it's the same old thing of somehow we're supposed to feel that Posey's suffering oh, is uh, or justified. And you're like, but she hasn't done anything yeah, wrong. That, that, that's the thing, at least for now. Wait, uh, up to this point, has Posey done anything to deserve this kind of torment? Honestly, I feel like she only she's only done half the stuff. I mean, she didn't do anything... In the series prior to so this. So basically, she's just a punching bag then. Yep, she's just life's punching bag. It's actually a pretty oh, cruel fate. Sucks. But it's for comedy. And, and yeah, it's, it's... it's. I don't know where people are okay with Spike abusing the G4. I, to be honest, I forgot. Um, the, I, I remember most stuff from the later part of G4 with Spike but um, uh, continuing back with this one right we, we see Izzy um, manhandling Posey and just Ahem. what mare handling <laughs> yeah mare handling and stealing her earrings and just comments like oh no this this is not this is not gonna work this is just plasticky and throws them away throws them aside like yeah, I, I'm with Posey on this one. Um, Sheriff, uh, Sheriff, could you could you send her to jail, please? <laughs> oh boys, <clears throat> but but you know, honestly, um, the the better way that Easy could have handled this was just asking where Posey got her earrings, or she could, could she take a look, see at them, instead of. A mare handling her. <sighs> well, I guess that I guess that wouldn't be comedy gold, but it certainly doesn't make uh, make Izzy that look is any better. True, that is true. But unfortunately um, for Posey, um, a bunch of raccoons came along with some kind of whoop ring, whatever, and distracted Izzy, and she went to the back alley. To discover, oh no, the ring that I saw was all bent. But she sees a raccoon jumping into the trash. And somehow this inspires her to do the same. And she discovers a new world of trash. And, oh god. This is, oh, this is the part where I, I just shut down and couldn't really... Accept it, man. <laughs> really, I I just the song enjoyed was good, the song, but the visuals, the visual. I saw a pair of well, underwear in that dress. Who even wears underwear in this universe? I, I don't. Well, you see, when a male pony and well, either when any pony really and another pony uh, love each other very much, they do a little dress up, which. In our world, would be more conservative, but over there, it's supposed to be hot. <laughs> Think about that. All these fan arts of fans drawing ponies in socks or more intimate wear, they're actually wearing more clothing than normal, which technically makes it conservative. <laughs> that is true. That is true. Especially the episode where Applejack weared rubber fireproof boots. Those, those the, the fandom during that day was something else, man. Oh, back in the day. Yeah, man. Back in the days. Oh, boy. But anywho, um, song was fun. Visual. Oh, wow. This monitor's in the trash. 
man. Uh, sorry. Um, wh- wh- where was I again? I'm I'm trying to. <coughs> oh man, the, the the visuals on this one, man. Uh, she, she found what she wanted. She Did she found the ring. Oh God. <laughs> so she. The one ring to rule them all, and in the darkness Yay. find them. It was it was worth two point five million, by the way. <laughs> Uh, but anyway, um, what was this again? Oh God! So, um, what was it? Give me a second because tr- uh, trash. All right, so she she found the ring, went home, and s- discovered that hey, the ring uh fastens it perfectly. So that's awesome. Now she's looking for something to complete the thing, and um, uh, found a crystal or a rock and it lightens up and she doesn't even know how it works and she's surprised and she's happy that um sunny is going to love it and pip screams at easy saying what have you done to my washing machine sorry not washing machine my washing machine uh, no uh, to my <laughs> hair dryer and easy says oh no problem i can fix this time to go dumpster diving again and Episode ends. So yeah, that, that was a really nice short episode. Fun at points, yeah, and it has something to do with the future. Yay, that's always good. <sighs> so um, I guess final thoughts are in order. This was a pretty short one. Silver, what do you think? Well, it's fun for the song and for the visuals. Uh, but to get there, we have Izzy acting rather poorly. And that contrasts against her movie uh, presentation, where she was pretty aware of her surroundings. She just reacted to them differently. Here, she's more oblivious, and that's I mean, for me that's less enjoyable. <clears throat> and so, really, I, I usually just focus on the song and the uh, and the idea that. She, is he never sees anything as without value or irredeemable in both uh, in both items and individuals? All right, all right, yeah, makes sense. Anything more there? Nope, uh, that's all about right, it for me. Um, Jacob, what about you, man? Well, uh, S- uh, Silver, uh, with what you said earlier, I think we need to go back on uh, about this. We need to go back to that, uh, what was it, Nightmare Roommate. It was pretty clear that this has got, well, uh, issues, if we remember. Oh, uh, yeah, that, that, that one. Mm-hmm. I, I don't I never had friends. I don't know what personal space is. Yeah, this is, the, this is back to the Applejack problem where Ah, yes. We need to cause drama. How do we cause drama? Yes. Let's take Best Pod and turn her into a menace. Or let's dump her down. (laughs) Now, as for the song, it was good, but honestly, it's going a bit too close to the Elmer Fudd song from the new Looney Tunes show. (laughs) You know, the one where he sings about how he's going to have his very... Real cheese sandwich. <laughs> oh no. No, 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 no. <laughs> but yeah. Uh, but as for the ending, well, this is where you have another continuity error regarding, uh, uh, well, what is he made for Sunny, which is gonna become relevant when the first episode of the, of the Make Your Mark begins. Mm, Alright. But all in all, the episode was okay. All right, all right. And as for me, this episode was okay. It wasn't, it wasn't offensive enough to make me hate it. Uh, the dumb diving part was just like, I, I, I get it to a point, but as an adult who do not like trash. It just rubbed me the wrong way, man. It's like, yeah, no, man. Like oh no, that's just just. Mm. But I I do like the part where Izzy is trying her best to create or fix something of her friends, 
and she she's willing to dumpster. <laughs> this is just me being very generous with easy, isn't it? <laughs> Boy. Ah. Mm, what's generous is mm. subjective. But yeah, um, she, she's she's trying to um, fix something for Sunny, and she's willing to dig through trash just to do some to get it for her. And yeah, and all in all, this this was a good episode. This was a good episode. Oh boy! <clears throat> so um, I think that's about it. So uh, let's wrap things up. Mm. So if you guys have any questions, concerns, or suggestions for the show, you can do, contact us at dbsugmail.com. You can also reach us on the Twitters. The show's Twitter account is at DBS Show. And my personal Twitter account is, and my personal Twitter account is at Norman Sanzo. Uh, Silver, where can the good people find you? On DeviantArt's YouTube and Twitter under MLP Silver Quill. Uh, you can also find links to my Patreon and Ko-fi to support after the fact. And I will hopefully see uh, bronies in Milwaukee for at the start of November for uh, Ponyville Cider Fest. Oh, Milwaukee is which part of the state again? Oh, uh, Mi- yeah, Milwaukee. Where well, let's see here <laughs> in Wisconsin. Mm. All right, I, I heard of Wisconsin. I also heard of Milwaukee. Don't know where is it on the map. Have you heard? Have you heard oh, of cheese wait, curds? Milwaukee's cheese? I thought the other state was all about cheese. What was it? Um, Philadelphia. Yeah, Philly. No. Well, well there's there's room for more than one. Right. Uh, so yeah, uh, if you're going to Milwaukee for. Ponyville Cider Fest. Um, yeah. Silver yes. will be there. Silver will be there. All right, yeah. By the way, uh, any other guests going, Silver, that you know of? Not yet. They haven't announced uh, community guests. Let's take a quick gander at the website. Ponyville Cider Fest. Discord uh, guests. Oh, uh, well. Ellie Ray will be there, the voice of Miss Maine and her dedicated queen, uh, queen of Chaos. Uh, queen. So that's their actual <laughs> title for her. Uh, cool, 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 cool. It, it, it's, the, the, I, I'm just, so, I, I'm just glad that the fandom still appreciates the voice actors, even though that they're not uh, playing the roles anymore. So. It, that is still awesome and fun because right now right there there seems to be a pony renaissance going on in china and that's just wow okay any i'm sorry well i think did they get it late it later than us way. it really looks that way because right now um funny enough they have a lot of merchandise and the, their merchandising is not toys and whatnot it, it's basically collectible cards um some figures dolls and their dolls are pretty good like they're they're late to the game but their 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 merchandising game is uh on on par so yeah I, i'm just surprised and the best part is i'm getting some of um what they're getting here locally so um what uh, just now was walking with uh, was meeting my friend we went to a store I saw some trading cards they were kind of cheap they didn't buy because they didn't want to waste money but still it was one of, it was one of those things where they were pretty cool and Jacob I think you saw the video right? Uh, on the Patreons uh, second. For, it was the unboxing thing whatever it is yeah, yeah. All oh, right, yeah, 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 yeah. So, so that was that was something cool. But anyway, um, talking, uh, uh, Jacob, where can the good people find you? Uh, you can find me on the DeviantArt under the username Yakafon Podcast, on the Twitter username Tales of the Ashes. 
If you're interested in reading the story Tomorrow Rising, you can find me on filmfiction.net. And oh my god, I haven't posted like in two months now because my priorities are elsewhere, so I hope to continue this month again. <laughs> And if you're interested in reading an original story featuring anthropomorphic animals in a dual fantasy setting called Tales of the Ashes, you can find it on the talesoftheashes.com. And that's the, uh, well, where my uh, attention was lately. Ah, all right, all right, all right. No problem, no problem. Um, Jacob, you going to Galacon? Mm, no, uh, not really. It seems that that, that con is um, having a revival, I think. Yes. Isn't it in US? No, Galacon is in Germany. Oh, well, I've never been to uh, an MLP convention, to be honest. Ah, all right. Wait, what? The okay. only one the convention that I've been so far was uh, the Anime Con that was in Serbia. And r- at the moment, the only concert I'm going to is to uh, uh, NMN, which is hosted every year in my capital, so I can promote my series. Ah, all right, all right. Oh, um, Galacon is happening next year on the 6th to 7th of September. So, yeah, if you're interested, you might uh, head there, probably. Mm. Okay. So, yeah, that, that's a future plan for you to plan to go to if you want to. Honestly, we'll find a few of you guys will attend. <laughs> Uh, me probably not so a really hard chance but Silver pro- probably if they want him there have you been to yeah yeah have you been to Galcon Silver no I, I haven't made it to any conventions outside the uh, United States means, if I remember right that means Dusty was invited then oh yeah Dust, Dusty's better traveled than I but still I, I hope one day you'll get to travel to places via invite from the, what you gonna call this, uh, from the uh, Brony uh, conventions. Yeah. Uh, I don't think so. I don't think I'm considered it hot yeah. stuff anymore. Man. Well, I need to, I need to get posted more to show I'm still but, at it. But you still are, man. Yeah, man. Yeah, it's just been a rough go this year. So, totally understandable. Totally understandable. But if you guys, um, uh, where is it? Uh, also, please subscribe and rate us on iTunes, YouTube. Don't forget to push, uh, don't forget to press the bell icon to stay up to date. And links will be in the show notes. And if you'd like to support the show, you can do so at patreoncom show. With every support, you get a weekly access to review and discussion podcast, exclusive and deleted content. And a huge thank you from me. And talking about thank yous, I'd like to thank Jacob, Lucky Knight, and also Master of Black. Thank you so much, guys. You are great. So anyway, I have been Norman Sanzo. I am Cecil Vaquil. And we'll guys catch you next week with another fun episode of the Mia Show. See ya. Adios. Bye-bye. So, okay, here, here's the thing, guys. We, we all know that a lot of conventions like to throw stuff away that nobody um, wants anymore, right? Yep, yep, yep. So, what we're going to do is we're going to wait behind some truck just out of sight. So, when the con staff throws away their stuff, we, we're going to go digging for those valuable uh, pony plush. I'm pretty sure that all gets done in the charity auction. Wait, they, they don't they don't throw those away? <coughs> Plushies and the like? No, no sir. How? I can only ima- I can only imagine one reason why anyone would want to throw a plushie away. The, but then why did I find one at the thrift store? <laughs>